What makes you feel so phobia? Is it swimming next to a real animatronic or just watching one move underwater? We are Luz and Sauco, and today we are going to explore 11 never before seen submerged animatronics. Number 11 Treasure Fund Universal Studios Singapore. We're starting this list with some very mild of mechanophobia, but just wait and see what waits for you at the end of this video. Meanwhile, let's go to Universal Studios Singapore to the family attraction Treasure Hunters. This attraction turns guests into archaeologists and takes them to Egypt to an abandoned excavation site aboard a jeep. And while it had some cool scenes, environments, and effects, the attraction is mid at best. The props are cool and the bug effects, while basic, also look pretty good. And there are also some animatronics during the ride. Look at these vultures, the cool cobras, and this perfectly missed opportunity of a crocodile that should have been an animatronic but is just a prop. But there are two props that are creepier just because they are in water. And the first one is just at the beginning of the ride. It's this hippo right here. Seeing it stalking our vehicles while partially submerged makes my skin crawl. It doesn't help either that hippos are some of the most dangerous animals in the world. The second one is this croc. If we move a little bit forward, we find this other crocodile swimming in the river, also partially submerged and waiting for its next victim in the murky waters. Creepy, right? Number 10. My father. Lucy Park. I know many come here to be terrified by these creatures. But for me, this is a great exception. But Luz thinks it's really terrifying, especially when seen in the depths of water. I think it's super cute. This frog can be found in Duthi Park in Scotland. This park has a rich history dating back to 1881. But I won't bore you with that. Today, we are here to see Makapadak. This frog was introduced in the 90s for the Winter Gardens area and was originally named Freddy. Over time, fans renamed it Makapadak. This frog loves makeovers, as it has had different designs throughout the years. In the mid-2000s, its mechanisms broke down. But in 2012, MacPodoc made an epic comeback with a new texture and fully repaired mechanics. You can find MacPodoc in a small pond in the depths of water, and it emerged every so often to greet visitors with surprising grace. People usually throw coins at it, and it's a must-see for park visitors. Lately, MacPodoc isn't looking its best. It needs some fixing up and a fresh coat of paint. Even though it seems a bit creepy now, it's still a beauty to me. And I'm a big fan of MacPodoc. So who is right, Luz or me? Is MacPodoc creepy or cute? If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to drop a like so we can make more of them. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Number 9. Fairytale Group Legoland. Many people say that seeing this when they were kids was what triggered their submechanophobia. So let's take a look at it and judge it ourselves. Legoland is one of the most popular theme parks in the world, with 11 theme parks across the world and four more coming soon. In two of these theme parks, guests can find the Fairy Tale Brook attraction. This attraction is a very cute boat ride that takes guests through the fairy tale forest, where they can find several Lego depictions of fairy tale scenes. This all looks very cute and non threatening, right? Well, there are two particular scenes that had been very bone chilling for people since the ride open. One of these is the first scene that we find in the ride. After passing the first curve, guests can find the big bad wolf, wearing a snorkel and goggles and watching Little Red Riding Hood from afar. He pops in and out of the water, and the sight of the wolf underwater is very creepy. But the second one is even scarier. As the ride continues, we find some trolls. The first troll might be scary for kids, but the second one is very creepy for people with submechanophobia. This troll is completely submerged, and whenever a boat passes next to him, he comes out of the water and scares guests by spitting water at them. The creepiest thing about this troll is that we can see some of his mechanisms underwater. This alone makes us understand why many people are scared of it and why it's responsible for beginning a whole generation of submechanophobia. Number 8. Rainforest Float, Rio de Janeiro. In 2020, this tweet went viral, and many people start wondering about this animatronic. What is it? What will be used for? And who made it? Many were left with unanswered questions. However, here at Fastpass Facts, we couldn't just leave these doubts unanswered. We discovered that this mechanical sculpture came from the marvelous land of Brazil. Brazil is world-renowned for its carnival in Rio de Janeiro. If for some reason you have been living under a rock, and don't know what we're talking about, imagine Mardi Gras on asteroids. This carnival is a competition between 14 Samba schools, each of which has huge warehouses where they build everything from scratch every year. During this parade, the world has seen the most incredible floats. 
like this Star Wars theme one. Specifically for this carnival, they created this megalophobic nightmare with elements of soft mechanophobia. Besides having extremely complex movements, this sculpture also sprays water when it rises. This incredible creation was made by the artist Alex Salvador. This represents a powerful spirit from the Amazon forest. It was created to inspire the conservation of these natural areas. All the materials used for these floats are designed to be recycled and reused for future parades. In general, over $8 million are spent on the creation of these competitions. This mechanical creation is truly astonishing, but I can understand that it may seem terrifying to many. Number 7. Homemade Nessie Imagine peacefully strolling along the lake, and suddenly in the distance you spot this creature moving towards you. I know it may sound strange, but I would absolutely love it. And personally, I adore the Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie as many of you know it. But how did Nessie find her way to this lake? This submechanophobia creature is a creation of Michael Kohler, a scientist by profession and an enthusiast of models and RC hobbies. This creature is made from insulation foam to keep it light and stable. Balance on the water with heavy keel made of round exercise weights. Suspend them from an aluminum tube. To prevent it from being pushed sideways by the wind, two vertical keel fins are positioned under the body. For its size, a table tennis ball was used. It was cut in half, painted, and sprayed with high gloss enamel to give it a glassy look. This is a 7 foot tall Loch Ness Monster animatronic that floats freely on the water with radio control steering for movement. The head can turn right and left, look up and down, and the jaw opens and closes. In April 2023, Michael conducted the first test, and the animatronic worked marvelously. Michael's channel and project log are in the description, and they are incredibly interesting. I highly recommend checking them out. Michael plans to take Nessie back to the lake to observe people's reactions as they pass by. Number 6. Toberland Dragons, Marilyn's Quest These next animatronics are truly terrifying with the way they emerge from the depths. But they have enhanced a ride that was already marvelous. If you don't believe us, join us in the Netherlands, where you will find Toberland, a park that started as a small indoor theme park in 2001, but has grown over time into a full-fledged theme park. The park has many attractions, and one of them is Merlin's Quest. This is a truly spectacular ride. As I am riding this, I have already added to my bucket list of dark rides. Let me know if I'm on the right track after this segment. Merlin's Quest is a boat ride combined with a dark ride that takes us through magical caves where we encounter animatronics, special effects, and incredible environments. In short, it's a visual marvel. However, the beginning of the ride used to be a bit dull, as it had nothing more than water, even though the settling was beautiful. It felt somewhat empty, but all of that changed a couple of weeks ago when Toverland added two dragons to this ride that will truly provoke your soft mechanophobia. The first dragon is truly amazing. At first, it appears that we're only seeing a nest with some birds. Suddenly, bubbles start to emerge on the water surface, and a massive distorting shape emerge from the water. Then, a gigantic creature appears. This animatronic is divided in several parts to create the illusion of a larger size. And if that wasn't enough, just a few meters away, another creature emerges from the depths. Personally, this one is even scarier as it has more robotic movements, and you can see some of the mechanism. I know it's a common trope in the community, but imagine having to swim there. I will be terrified. Number 5. The Rescue of Ulysses, Terra Mythica There's something about giant mythical statues and animatronics surrounded by water that makes me shiver, and I totally feel like they're looking directly at me. This ride is the rescue of Ulysses, and you could find it in Terra Mythica in Spain. This is an amazing park, but due to financial problems, Terra Mythica split its park in 2013 in two parts, Terra Mythica and Iberia Park which is only open during high season as an extension of the main park. In this second park is where we can find the rescue of Ulysses, Odyssey. The ride is themed after Homer's Odyssey, which tells the story of Ulysses, a Greek hero, and his journey home from the Trojan War. The attraction has more than 50 animatronics, and I honestly can't choose which of these animatronic mythical creatures I find more terrifying. The creepiest part of it all is that, again, because of financial difficulties, the ride started becoming very deteriorated and its animatronics just stopped working and were never repaired. 
Not only that, but when the pandemic hit, the park of course closed. And when it reopened, the rescue of Ulysses did not reopen with it. So it has stayed abandoned and without use for a while now. We hope that it will reopen soon, but meanwhile those animatronics are completely abandoned and surrounded by water. And I for one don't want to think about how they probably look like by now. Number 4. Wooly Bill, Cleveland Zoo. This animatronic is a familiar sight in the submechanophobia community. But surprisingly, we have never covered it before. This submechanophobia nightmare resides in the Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo, which has endless exhibits and animals, including the Jaga Tree. This family-friendly area features a snake-shaped slide, but what stands out the most is a cavern where the famous woolly bill is located, a submerged crocodile lurking in the murky waters of this cave. At intervals, woolly bill surfaces, moving his head and startling visitors. Recently, Wooly Bill gave us quite a scare when he disappeared from the exhibit for an extended period during the Jagat Tree renovations. Many speculated that he will never return. For fortune, a couple of weeks ago, Wooly Bill made his epic comeback to the zoo. All fans of this robotic reptile can now rest easy, knowing that he will continue to frighten visitors for many years to come. Number 3. Stefan's Fish, Effling. Let's go back to the Netherlands to one of our favorite parks in the world, Efteling. We can't stress enough how much we love this park back when we visited, and we were able to experience many of the attractions that it offers. But sadly, not all of them, and one of the ones we skipped was the gondoleta. The gondoleta takes guests on a 20-minute sailing route on a boat using the towboat ride system. It goes through beautiful settings, but there was not much else to see in this attraction. But that all changed in 2015 when the attraction was completely refurbished. There were many things done to the attraction, but one of the best additions to it was also terrifying. During the summer, a mysterious animatronic fish appeared on the pond. This fish is known as Stefan's fish, and it is seen swimming in circles, showing its mouth, back and tail fin from time to time. Just imagine what it looks like underwater, moving on its track. The way it pops in and out of the water makes me feel very uneasy. How would you feel while sailing past this animatronic nightmare? Number 2. The Crow Bar of Bunny before we start this segment, please go and subscribe to Mark. Do you want to make a bet? I'm sure you have heard of the Moray Bridge Bunny, the Billabong Bunny, and even this guy. But I bet you $100 you haven't heard of the Crow Borough Bunny. And more importantly, who created it? Meet Mark Waller, a retired science teacher who loves experimenting and making things. When he retired, he started making models with radio control. One of Mark's best creations is the Crow Borough Bunny, he got the idea from seeing the famous Murray Bridge Bunny in Australia when he was teaching there. Mark thought it would be great to make something like that for the kids in Crowboro. The bunny is like a special underwater creature that can move because of hydraulics, but the coolest part is its head. Mark made the head from fiberglass. Inside, he added a special electronic parts like tiny switches and a microprocessor. When everything was ready, the underwater pipes made the bunny's head pop up and forward. The head even made roaring and rolling sounds, and Mark made bubbles come out of Bunny's nose for fun. Making the bunny was a big challenge, and it took a few months of work, but when Mark finally put the finished bunny in the lake, everyone got so excited. They were amazed at this cool underwater creature. Mark also makes other fantastic things, like a perpetual motion machine, and also a radio control Jesus lizard that can walk on water. Number 1. Magicland Dinosaurs, Egypt We've arrived at our number one pick from you, the abandoned Magicland Dinosaurs. Magicland was a theme park in Cairo, Egypt that opened in 1996. It was considered one of the best theme parks in the area and it had many activities and attractions for guests to enjoy. One of these attractions was Dinosaur Island. Now, if you're looking for accuracy, then look somewhere else, because this attraction had cavemen battling dinosaurs. But hey, when we talk about entertainment, we sometimes don't care about accuracy, right? This ride was a water ride that took guests back in time to see several animatronic dinosaurs, cavemen, and mammoth. But one of the most terrifying aspects about this ride was the Brontosaurus. This animatronic was not only in water, but it was also so close to the boats that you could actually touch it. Just look at that. I can only imagine how deteriorated the animatronic became after a while because of how near it was to the guests. Sadly, Magic Land closed in 2011, and while most of the park was demolished, the Dinosaur Island attraction was left abandoned, with all of its animatronics rotting away. There was a rumor back in 2015 that the park would open again the following year, 
But that never happened, and the animatronics are probably still there, abandoned and surrounded by the elements. That's such a sad ending for any animatronic.